Hello, in this video we're going to look at a Slutsky decomposition to look at the cross price effects on the demand for good X. So here is our Cobb Douglas utility function and the budget constraint, M is income, get the price of good X, price of good Y, units of X, and units of Y. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get the marginal utility of good X, which is just Y, partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good X. And then the marginal utility of good y is just x. Forming our utility maximizing condition, consumer will spend his or her income in such a manner that the marginal utility per dollar is equal across both goods. So making our substitutions now into this formula, marginal utility of x is y, marginal utility of y is x. And then I'm going to solve this for y, and we get the following. So let's derive the compensated demand for good x. So again, we found in the last slide y equals x times the price of good x divided by the price of good y. Let's plug that into the utility function. Get something like this. Simplifying up a little bit. And we're solving for x here. Taking the square root of both sides. This is the compensated demand for good x. Let's get the ordinary demand for good x. Again, we got this result y equals x times the price of good x divided by the price of good y. Let's plug that into the budget constraint where we have y. We'll plug in this right here. And solving for x, the price of y terms cancel. And we have the ordinary demand for good x. And to get the ordinary demand for good y, we can take this x here and plug it back into the budget constraint and just solve for y. And if you were to do that, you'll get the demand for good y, the ordinary demand for good y. All right, uh, next thing, let's get the indirect utility function. So we have our utility function. Let's just plug in the ordinary demands into it. So for x, we plug in the demand for good x. y, we plug in the demand for good y. And doing that down here, we simplify we have the indirect utility function. <clears throat> now, the effect of a price change in good Y and the demand for good X in Slutsky form is going to look something like this. On the right-hand side, this first term here would be the substitution effect, captures the substitution effect of an increase in the price of good Y on the demand for good X. And then this last term here on the right-hand side captures the income effect when the price of good Y increases, let's say, uh, that will reduce consumers' real purchasing power, and that'll have a f then an effect on the demand for good X. So again, writing this uh, cross-price effect here in Slutsky form, how does the change in the price of good Y affect the demand for good X? Uh, one thing to note here, Y is just the ordinary demand for good Y. The ordinary demand for good Y is M divided by 2 times the price of good Y. That's our ordinary demand for good X. So let's first get the income effect. So minus Y times a partial derivative of the ordinary demand with respect to income. So this first term here in parentheses is just minus Y. This second term in parentheses is the partial derivative of the ordinary demand function for good X with respect to income. And then simplifying, we have the income effect. To get the substitution effect, we're going to take the partial derivative of the compensated demand for good X with respect to the price of good Y. Here's our compensated demand for good X, taking the partial derivative of that with respect to the price of good Y. We get back the following result. Uh, this 2 down here is because I brought this 1 half down in front from taking the partial derivative. And then we uh, the negative exponent on the price, ter price of good y term here, just subtracting 1 from that exponent. And so you get this result. Uh, the next step is we're going to plug the indirect utility function in for u. We found the indirect utility function earlier. Now plugging that in for, into u. We do have to take the square root of it since the indirect utility function here is raised to the 1 half power. And simplifying all of this down, you get the following. So putting it together, 
the substitution effect and the income effect, they exactly offset each other. So with a Cobb-Douglas utility function, a change in the price of good Y does not affect the consumption of good X. We just showed that the income and substitution effects uh, are offsetting. They cancel each other out. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.